Hi, welcome to my channel Rubia Stedman. Today I will be teaching you how to knit this beautiful cowl or neck warmer for the set with my Tumi hat. It's very easy to do. I did a graph and I left my picture in my Facebook page and my Instagram Rubia Stedman Crochet so you can find it there. And I hope you guys like it and give it a try. And here is the list of material you're going to need to make it. If you are not already a subscriber, please subscribe and click on the little bell. That way you get a notification each time I upload a video. Remember, I do my video in Spanish and English. So if you receive a Spanish video, look in the main page of my channel that you will find my English version. To do this neck warmer or cowl to match the hat that I did last week, I'm going to use the leftover yarn. This yarn is the loops and thread, simile lane, uh, wool like simile lane. They have 100 grams or 620 meter, 85% acrylic, 15% nylon, a super fine one. Uh, this one is pink and this one is red. But I'm going to use, use the leftover first. The netting needle are 5 millimeter and the length is 16 inches. You're going to need a marker, measurement tape, a tapestry needle and scissors. So last week I did this hat and now we're going to do the matching uh, cowl or neck warmer. So I shared the picture of the chart in my Facebook page Ruby Esteban Crochet and in my Instagram Ruby Esteban Crochet. So let's start making the beautiful uh, cowl or neck warmer for the set. Something that I wanted to show you is if by any reason you want to slow down my videos, you can go here in the setting in the video and you'll see a speed. You click on the speed and to the top will be a slow and to the lowest it will be faster. You can do this with all my videos or any video in YouTube. So I'm going to start with the pink the same way I did the hat. But I think I will need more pink from this other bottle jar because I use more pink in this and you see you have more pink than red. That's why this ball is smaller than this one. So when I did the hat, I separated one of this ball in three separate balls to work my hat. After that, I wind up the leftover from those three balls in one ball with three strands to work the neck warper. I'm going to leave the link below where I bought my yarn winder just in case you want to buy one. It's really easy to work with your yarn already in one ball. So I need 108 stitches for the design plus one to close the circumference. So I will have 109 stitches. So I'm going to wind in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You can do the long tail cast on or the short tail cast on on your needle. Ten and ten is twenty. Twenty and twenty forty. In twenty sixty and twenty eighty and twenty a hundred plus a little extra for those nine and a tail. So you're going to do slip knot. And you're going to start casting on your stitches on your needle. I'm going to do a tubular cast on and a tubular bind off. It will give a really nice border to your neck warmer or cowl. So I'm going to start casting on 109 stitches. I really love, love this yarn for hats and neck warmer. Since I try it, I can't get enough of my hat being done with this. And they have a lot of different colors, so you can do many hats with different color combinations. 
So I will continue doing my cast on and I will meet you here to start our tubular cast on. Here I have my 109 stitches. I did a knot with a tail to secure the stitch. And now we're going to do a one by one tubular cast on. I already done this tubular cast on and a few on my hats and neck warmer. So you're going to net the net and pass the pearl without working. So I'm going to net the first one. And then the next round is where we're going to close the circumference. Yarn to the front, pass the pearl without working. Yarn to the back net. Yarn to the front pearl without working. And you have to pay attention in this one because usually if you're not concentrating 100%, you will pass the pearl. You don't pass the pearl, you will work the pearl. Let me tell you, that happened to me a few times. Yarn to the back and net. Yarn to the front. And pearl without working. Yarn to the back and net. And yarn to the front and pearl without working. Like that, you're going to continue all the way until the end. I finished that row. And we start with a net and finish with a net, but the last net we're gonna pass over the first one to cast it up. But before we do that, I'm gonna lose this one, the last one. I'm gonna hold it here, that way I don't lose it. And I'm gonna place my marker. I'm gonna pass that stitch. And then we're gonna pass the first one. But before you do that, make sure that this is not twisted, that all the stitches are the same to the same. You see, they're all here, they're not twisted. Because if you do it with a twisted the stitch in here, you'll have to undo your piece. So you're going to pass the first one to the right hand needle. And the best way to do this in here is you're going to grab the stitch in front of the marker with your nails or your finger, and you don't have nails, long nails, and you're going to lose the stitch, and you're going to pass it through the tip of the needle out, and then you're going to pull the tail here, and you close your circumference, and it's nice and even, okay? So now we're going to work in the reverse of what we did in the first one. In the first one we did work the net and pass the pearl. This time we pass the net and work the pearl. So that count as the first net, now you're to the front and you're gonna pull your stitch. Yarn to the back. Now you're gonna pass this net without working, but you're gonna pass it like a pearl stitch, you see, from the top of strand like that. so. Yarn to the front pearl. Yarn to the back, pass the stitch without working like a, a pearl stitch. Yarn to the front pearl, yarn to the back as to net, and then you're going to pass the stitch like a pearl with a work. Yarn to the front pearl, yarn to the back as to net, and you're going to pass the stitch with a work. And like that, you're going to work all the way around, and you're going to finish with a pearl stitch. I finished that round with a pearl. Now we're gonna work just the one by one rib, one net, one pearl, and that easy is to make a tubular cast on. So very easy. So you're gonna net the net and pearl the pearls. So you're gonna work for one and a half inch or two inches, so that depends on the width that you want to give to this border. You can, this is two inches, so you can do as wide as this. And I have an example here. This one is one inch, so you can do one inch like this one, or two like this one. I'm gonna do one and a half, a little more than this, a little less than that. Okay. So I will meet you here when I have my one and a half inch. Okay. 
here I have my one and a half inch so now exactly like the hat you're gonna do two row of net around with the pink once you finish those two round I will meet you here I finished those two round and what we done so far is not in the chart okay the chart is just the design of the motif okay so we want to work uh, from row one to row four is um, this and then you do row five and then the repetition of each motif is from row six to row eleven row six to eleven and then you see row 12 to 17 is exactly the same what I did from 6 to 11 okay and like that you continue until you have the length and then of the amount of motif that you want after that you will do because you'll finish with one of the red exactly like in 5 and then you do from 4 to 1 reverse you will do exactly the same but in the reverse and after you do number one in here you do this repetition that you done in here the two row in pink plus the one by one rib and the other end okay so we're gonna start in here and number one is the X with the color is the red and the empty ones is the pink okay the main color so you want to do a red and a pink, a red and a pink, and so on. So in order to have this stitch here closed, that you don't have a hole, you'll put your pink in this finger, like that. And then you come with the red, even a tail, that way you can lose that tail very well later you do the stitch in red now the next one is a pink and all my work I will do with the pink in this finger and the red in this hand the entire piece like this, that way the stitches have the same tension all the way so you start with the red and you'll finish with the pink I finished that round now the second one we don't have any color so that means it's all pink so you're going to leave the red in here and with the pink you're going to do the rest and if you look my stitch went big but what you do in here as you come to the back you pull that tail is because that tail is loose you pull it until your stitch have the regular size you see and then you'll come here and with the working red churn you'll do a double knot to secure the stitch okay and the tail later you will lose that and then you leave the red there and you'll continue with the pink doing this second round okay I finished round two and three is one pink one red one pink one red the, the number one was one red one pink and now it's one pink one red so I keep the pink in this hand and the red one and this one so I will start with one pink and then one red one pink one red and like that you're going to continue all the way around I finished row three now row four or round four is a pink round and five is a red so all the stitches in number four are pink and all the stitches on round five is red so do those two round and I will meet you here to start with round six before I do round five I wanted to show you how you're gonna work this yarn here that way you don't end up with a little hole 
So what you do is you keep your pink in that finger, you pass to do the stitch, and when you wrap around that yarn in that needle, that strand is trapped behind in here. And you do your stitches, and I will show you that in here is what I have the beginning and end of my work and I don't have any hole in there okay I finished those two round now we're gonna work from round 6 to 11 and I will show you that uh, repetition of those rows after I finish round 11 if you need to see me again doing this you go back to this minute where we are working in round six and then repeat that from six to eleven because the red is exactly the same just that I did this with three motifs in my uh, chart but it is from six to eleven over and over uh, you will do that until you have the desired length and then after well almost the desired length and then after you will do this and uh, the border on the other side okay so in the chart I have two red three pink three red three pink three red three pink three red three pink until the end that you're gonna finish with one red that will create three red stitches in here okay So now I have to do my my first two stitches. They are two red. The trick about a strand a stranded netting or fair isle is the strand in the back. That's very important that you pay attention to the tension of the strand because if you have it too tight, you work it'll be not good at all. So you're gonna come here to do your pink and you see I separated these two red and I go to the tip of my needle and wrap my pink. I hold the first stitch because if I don't hold the first stitch when I pull here to tighten a little bit the stitch I will pull too much of the strand inside. And then I come here and I do the other two. Now you have three, you open those three stitches like so you come to the tip of the needle and with the red you do your first stitch you see it's a nice space in here you do your red one two and three again you will separate your three red and with the pink again in the tip of the needle you hold it to take it out and you are not pulling that strand inside so that is exactly how I did it in my hat and if I open my piece you see it's not pulling any of the stitches are pulling and I can stretch it as much as I want okay so I think this is one of my hat that I is the perfect hat with a stranded work because I really pay attention at the strand inside so that is very important the most important thing about a strand of work is the tension of the strand inside so two more pink open your stitches you always open your stitches and pass your needle through the next one and then with the red I will come to the tip do my first red and now my other two and the strand in the back is perfect the, the length of these three stitches again you will come here you open your stitches and at the tip of your needle you will do your three pink open your stitch And you come to the tip of your needle and do your first red and now the other two. 
and like that you're gonna continue three pink three red three pink three red all is opening your stitches like this and working the next stitch and the tip of your needle until you finish with one red at the end I finished that round and I recorded this little piece in Spanish and I don't gonna undo this I'm just gonna continue showing you what you're gonna do is uh, one red in number seven and five pink one red five pink one red five pink and so on you'll finish with five pink this time when I did this design in my hat I don't trap my strand in the back of these five stitches and I think that was what I helped my work to be nice and stretchy because I don't trap the yarn in none of my stitches okay I just left it like that and this is you see the length of number five uh, you know the five stitches underneath is this one you see nice and even in all my stitches so I think that's what uh, just make things work better. So you do your first red in here after you pass the marker, and then you're gonna do five pink. One, two, three, four, and five. You're gonna open those five stitches and you see they have a nice space in between them. And you're gonna come to the this one, you're gonna bring it closer to the tip and you leave it there in the tip of your needle. And then you're gonna come here and look at the length of this strand. It's the same length as these five stitches. And a little more to get to that one. And you do that stitch. And no, in any moment I pull that jar. I left it just like that. And again, you're gonna do five pink. One, two, three, four, and five. Again, you open those five stitches like so. And you come in this one and again and the tip with a nice length for that strand you're gonna do the red and again five pink like that you're gonna continue all the way around and you're gonna finish with five pink and this is round number seven I finished number seven and number eight is one red, two pink, one red, two pink, one red, two pink, one red, two pink, and so on. So in here you finish with five pink and the red is all the way here. So again you're gonna separate those five stitches and you're gonna come here and do the red. Now you're gonna do the two pink, one and two. You separate those two pink and do your red. Now two pink, one and two. Again, you separate those two pink and you'll do your red stitch. And we're working in here in the center of this motif in here, okay? And remember, you always have to separate behind the pink when you're going to do the red because it's two stitches but the red is only one. So I will show you one more time. You have already your red. So you have to do two pinks. One and two. You open your stitches and do your red. Again two pink. Open your stitches and one red and like that you're going to continue and you can see now where you have each of the motifs so you finished row eight or round eight now we have to do nine ten and eleven that is the repetition of seven six and five but the other way around 
So 9 of repetition of 7, 10 of 6, and 11 of 5. So we're almost there. I already did this one in Spanish. So when you finish here with the two pink, you separate the two pink and start with one red. That's the red that I already have here. Okay? So when you do one red, you will do five pink. One, two, three, four, and five pink, you open those five pink, again you bring this one to the tip and in the tip of your needle you do that red stitch. One, two, three, four, and five you open your five stitches, bring this one to the tip, and you do your red one. And like that, you're going to continue all the way around, and you're going to finish with five pink. I finished round nine. Now nine, round ten is two red to begin, and then three pink, three red, three pink, three red, three pink, three red, and so on. And you're going to finish with one red before the marker. So I did my first red. And to hold my marker in place. Now I'm going to do my second red. You're going to open those two stitches and you're going to do three pink. Open those three stitches and then you're going to work three reds. Open those three stitches and you're going to work three pinks. My three pink, one, two, and three. Open those stitches. Three red. Open those three red and then you're going to do three pink and so on okay i finished round 10 now we have to do 11. so 11 is all red so in this round is in the only round that i trap the pink that way i don't get a little hole here so what i do is i pass my needle through the red i pass that needle under the pink jar I yarn over the needle, I lift that yarn out of the way, and I knit that red. I come here, knit my next stitch, and the pink is trapped here and ready for the next round when it's time to work with the pink. You left the pink there and you work all your stitches with the red. I finished my first repetition of the motif of the design. So I'm gonna work around four more of these and then I will measure. I finished my this piece. part of the design and I did seven repetitions one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I did the red. Now with the pink, you're gonna do one round because we're gonna do this. And here, from here to here, okay, and the other side. So it's one round of pink, one round of one pink, one red, another round of pink, and then the other round is one red, one pink, and then you'll do two rounds of pink, and then start the one by one red. But I really love, love this design. So this is what I have left at the first ball of yarn, the one that I made the hat and almost all all the um, neck warmer or cowl. So I already, the other one that I have, I created another ball to continue once I finish with that one, okay? So now we're gonna do a round of pink, but if you work the pink from here 
you will end up with a little hole in here and to close the hole or that little gap what you're gonna do is the red you're gonna pass it where you had the pink before you know and top of this finger and now with the pink and this side I gonna work my round of net and you see in there is close on that gap you leave, leave the red in there don't cut it because you're gonna need it for two more rounds and then you're gonna continue working and do this round of pink I forgot to mention that I measured from the border to this uh, round of red and this piece measure nine and a half inch already I only have this little piece left of this one and I want to start trapping the new yarn in here that way I don't have a hole so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here I pass my needle as to net and I'm gonna grab the new strand and I'm gonna pass it on top of this one to this finger okay like this I'm gonna place it there leaving a tail to loose later and you see this is the yarn that I'm working with you're gonna come here and you're gonna do that stitch with your working yarn you're gonna do now again you're gonna trap it again and what you're gonna do you're gonna pass the needle through the stitch and under the pink you yarn over as to net you lift your finger to remove that one from the front of the stitch and it's trap in there you do the next stitch and it's trap again you see it's already inside there let me pull this a little to have enough tail to loose and you see I'm doing it in this part where I have these three red and you don't see that strand in the back so with this one I still have this is the new yarn I'm gonna do a couple more so I will trap again you see I pass it through the red under the pink yarn over in, in the needle lift the pink and pass your working yarn through you do the next stitch and it's trapped there again now to change from this one to the new working yarn what you're gonna do you're gonna grab the way this one the one that is almost over you're gonna pass it to that finger and you're gonna grab the working yarn in your right hand and now you're gonna do the same but with this tail you're gonna pass here as to net you pass it under and then when you do the next one it's trapped in here again okay I left one <laughs> one of the strands left to move it out of the way and it's done again you're gonna trap it again you pass it through the stitch under oh I need to do this one before I do it again under pass left pass that one through and do the next one and like that you see you trap those strand in here and you're working now with the new yarn and in here you don't see any hole and you don't see that um, other yarn in the back okay so now I'm gonna continue with my new yarn until here and then we start with one red one pink or one pink one red I finished with the pink now I'm gonna pass the pink to my left hand and I'm gonna keep working with the red in my right hand and when you cross them like that when you work with the red you will close the little gap so you come here and do one pink one red one pink one red one pink and one red 
and like that you're gonna continue until the end you start with the pink and you're gonna finish with a red stitch I finished the round now with the pink leaving the red in here we're gonna do this round all pink I finished the round now the next round is one red one pink one red and one pink and like that you're going to continue all the way around and you start with a red and you're going to finish with a pink once you finish you can cut your yarn leaving a tail long enough for uh, loose later and you're going to do two rounds then of net with the pink and then I will meet you here I finished that round I cut the red but I want to weave it a little bit uh, to secure this the a strand and to make sure that I don't get a hole in here so to do that I'm gonna grab that red and I'm gonna pass it to my left hand and then now I'm gonna work with the pink I'm gonna come here and do one stitch and it's already trapped and the pink in here it's exactly the same as we did in here with the pink to weave a little detail before we start working with the new yarn so now again you're gonna come here and you're gonna pass it under that stitch you pass it through the pink under uh, the red you lift that red that way you don't pass it through and you pass your working yarn and you do the next stitch and again you trap that st stitch in here or that strand again you go through the stitch and under the red yarn over, lift the red, do your stitch and do the next one and like that you will weave for a few stitches and then you continue with the pink for this round and the next one to net round I finished those two rounds of net now I'm gonna work a one by one rib and this here I did seven round of one by one rib plus the two round for the tular cast on but if I do the same amount of row in this part it will look like I have more round done because these two round it will look like and then this one a one by one rib okay so you will have to do um, a couple of round less than the rib that you did here okay plus the two of the tubular cast on so I did seven in here for mine I'm gonna do five so if you don't count the amount of round that you did and you want to go by measuring you will measure uh, two stitches uh, for, for example those two net stitches that you're gonna remove from in here and those uh, two stitches is almost like a one and a half uh, centimeter that that's like a half an inch okay you will do this part half an inch the one by one rep shorter than this one because you still have to do the two round of uh, tubular bind off so and here you're gonna work it's one net one net and one pearl yarn to the back one net and one pearl and let me tell you that that I already have done this part in here and I frog it I deleted a little clip of video because I did my seven round and when I did the two round of tubular bind off it looked like twice almost the size of this like this much bigger like four round bigger okay and instead of none because it was even the same amount of round that I did here and here it was exactly the same and it looked like I have four round more okay so you're gonna do your rib stitch and I will meet you here to do the tubular cast off or bind off okay I finished those five rounds now I'm gonna work my two round of tubular bind off 
So the first round, you are gonna net the net, yarn over, and pass the pearl without working. Exactly like the first row that we did. You're gonna net the net, yarn to the front, pass the pearl without working. Yarn to the back, net the net, yarn to the front, pass the pearl without working. Yarn to the back, net the net, yarn to the front, pass the pearl without working. And like that you're gonna work this round. We have one more to go and do the bind. I finished that round, now we're gonna do the last one and it's the opposite of what we did. The last one that we did was the pearl without working. You pass your yarn to the back as to net and you're gonna pass the first net without working. But you're gonna pass it like a pearl stitch from the front strand. Yarn to the front and you're gonna pearl, you pearl. Yarn to the back, pass that net from the front strand like that without working. Yarn to the front, pearl, new pearls. Yarn to the back, pass the net without working. Yarn to the front, pearl the next stitch. That is a pearl. Yarn to the back, pass the net without working. And like that, you're going to continue all the way around and the next one we're gonna just bind up the stitch with our tapestry needle. I finished the round, now we're gonna cut a tail, a very long tail, probably a meter or more, because we need enough to bind off all the stitches and to leave the bind off nice and loose like this side, okay? Something that has a nice stretch to it, you see? Okay, so now I'm going to cut this, the tail and prepare my tapestry needle and then I will show you how we're going to do that. This part you have to be careful because remember you are casting off or binding off your stitches with your needle. So it's very important that you grab the three strand and the stitch. So first we're going to grab the first one, the next stitch, you're going to pass it through. And very careful not to create knots because it's, the strands are so long and there are three of each. You know, three. So now we're going to pass the next, that is a pearl, and you're going to pass like this from the front as as a netting, you see? But you want to pass through as to net. and then you're going to move the stitches out. Now we're going to work the stitches and we have to grab two at a time. Let me pass the yarn to the front, that way it's easy for you to see. So you have to grab the net in here and you have to look but because the, the, it's like a U, other than U, uh, the, the stitch. So you have to make sure that you grab the left little leg uh, that stitch and the three strand. You're gonna pass it through from the front here. You see like this. It's very important how you pass your yarn. Okay. So you're gonna pass it through there, through that one. Very careful. And remember, pull a little bit here. That way, these are very close to each other. And then now, I'm gonna pass it through this net like this. You see, it's very important, okay? That you see how to pass the stitch because if you don't, if you don't uh, gonna have the same uh, as me. So now we have to do the pearl. So the pearl is here in the back. So you have to find that the right leg that you're supposed to pull, and when you find it, it's this one in the top. When you pull that one, you'll see that it's pulling the strand in the middle here, okay? So you pass it from the, like the point at the needle facing you, tower you, and you're gonna pass it through. I pull one more than the other ones. And now you're gonna pass this pearl, like when you pass your needle as to net. And you're gonna move the stitch out of the needle. Okay. 
So now again, you're going to find the net in the front, and you see you don't see it, but it's under. Try to hide under. Again, when you pull that leg, you're pulling the strand in between this stitch, this one in between and here, okay? So you know that you grab the right leg, and then you pass it through this net. So you can pass them at the same time. Have to be very careful because I cut a very long strand. And then you move the stitch out of your, out of your needle. And you see, you start seeing the stitches in here. Now we have to do a purl. Again, you have to look for that purl in the back, the leg. And you see, because when you do those two rounds of Passing the yarn without working, you're creating like a two um, yarn, like a two material in the front and back, the stitches. So the pearl, when you pull the pearl, you see they're separate from the net. It's like a double thickness. And then you pass through this pearl and then through this one as to net. stitch out and like that is how we're going to continue doing the stitch again we're going to grab the little leg and the front end here you see and this one is that net and you're going to pass it through Again, I repeat myself, it's important that you pass the jar like I'm showing you, otherwise you don't want to have the same finish. Again, you find this one in the back, and it gets easier. As you work, it gets easier. Now it's easier for me to see which is the one I'm supposed to grab. And then you're going to pass it through this one here. And you're going to pass it through. Very careful not to do a knot. Remember, it's better to have extra length and no knot because otherwise you'll end up in the border here you see the nice border with a knot in there and you don't want that okay so again which is the front and when you pull this one you're pulling that strand and the stitch on this needle you pass it through that one and pull it out and like that you're going to continue all the way around and remember you can slow down the video if you like in this in uh, setting under the video and speed, you can slow down the video if you like to see this with more, you know, more slow.
you see how easy it is to do this very easy and look very even now I have to lose all the tails that I have inside and I will show you the end result and it's very stretchy this part and here stretch the same as the piece inside. this is the leftover from the first ball that I used for the hat and I don't weigh this one but I weigh this one to know how much I use from the other ball, the new ball so I still have 86 gram here that means I use 14 grams of the new ball so here is our piece and you see this stretch and don't pull any strand is very even I measure my piece and I measure 11 and a quarter inch or 28 and a quarter and a half centimeters and a measure exactly the same here the width and here so I really love love this set look how gorgeous this set look this will make amazing Christmas gift I know we are in July but it's never too early to start or Christmas uh, pieces. This, let me tell you, you will love. So, I hope you guys like it. And give it a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber. And if you make any amazing design and you want to send me some pictures, you can do that through my Facebook page, Ruby Esteban Crochet, or my Instagram, Ruby Esteban Crochet. Please share my video with friends and family, that way you help me grow here in YouTube. I wish you have a beautiful day.